All right, guys, welcome back. Um, we have another installment of our driver optimization series. Mm. So far, we've addressed the, the hook, we've addressed the slice, we've addressed the steep angle of attack. Now we're going to address the, the last one, which we, we really see people coming in here with. Um, and actually, one of our Patreon members reached out to me over the weekend about this specific issue with his driver, mm. and it's hitting the ball too high. Yeah, I think a lot of people struggle with that on the golf course. They lose distance or they're bad in the wind. That's right. And they're not entirely sure of, obviously, how to tackle that in the best way. Definitely. Delivering a little bit of extra loft, I mm -hmm. guess, is what you find. There Maybe the wrist breaks down a bit or however that kind of gets the ball kicking up in the air. Yeah, normally it comes with a little additional dynamic, uh, dynamic loft, Matty. Mm. Um, Often, it can be a little additional dynamic loft, a little low, low strike on the face. Okay. So yeah. you kind of the additional dynamic loft with the, the gearing up, mm. uh, you know, from the, the strike point can lead to a pretty short sort of getting a little sort of, uh, I don't know you, how you describe it, so not quite getting the bang for your buck. Yeah, exactly. And you may be someone that doesn't hit it that far. Yeah. And you may be going in with a five iron instead of a seven iron, and that's going to cost you a whole bunch of strokes. I can't tell you the amount of times in here I'll have customers come in and they'll go, you know what, I'm out there and I feel like I hit my driver really well and mm. it just doesn't really go anywhere. Right, they walk out there and it's not past That's everyone else. Exactly, so it kind of sets out this gorgeous flight, sort of high tower and flight, and then all of a sudden, when they think they're going to be by their, their mm. playing partners, they end up sort of 10, them. 15 yards mm. you know, behind them. So. This is, this is obviously about optimization. Yep. We're dealing with the player who delivers the face fairly square. Mm. Uh, so this isn't a curvature issue. This is just a, this is just a height issue at this point. Right. Um, so we're, we're going to address that today. So we obviously know loft plays a part. Yep. But we also know that the DNA of the driver, the, 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 uh, the design characteristics will also play a big part. Right. So in our, uh, in our driver where we addressed obviously the, the hook, where we were trying to get a little bit more backspin and, and sort of um, neutralize that spin axis tilt, we found a, a real ally in the Ping G400, yeah. uh, the, the Max uh, version, it was, it was perfect. And I think a lot of players, especially if you're a higher-ish or mid-handicap player, you're gonna look for a forgiving driver, yep. whether it's this or it's the new Rogue or, or whatever it is. And what comes with that, I guess, is a higher ball flight and That's more spin. Right. So you may be a player that the forgiveness is good, like when you're not striking it yeah. well, but the additional spin and launch is maybe not really what you need. That's right, exactly. Um, so why don't we hit a few? Why don't we kind of take a look at some, uh, some ball flights with that? Let's, let's kind of look at these characteristics. Uh, let's address a few of those, and then we can go about sort of selecting some fixes um, for this type of issue. Okay, sounds good. Okay. It's really good. That's high. Spinny. High and spinny. Okay. So the person, do you find the person that, uh, that hits it high is usually, well, as that's showing, very neutral in path, not someone that comes in or out a whole lot? Generally, generally not certainly the player who's coming too much from the inside right. and face closing so at, yeah, if, that, if anything a more of a fade style player yes maybe straight to you know a fade a pretty neutral golfer right someone who isn't getting into a whole heap of trouble off the tee right um, but they're just feeling like okay I, i've kind of solved one issue which is hitting the fairways kind of could do with getting it out there a little bit further 20 30 more yards that's that's the player who we're helping here okay gotcha That should be good too. That one was really well hit. Yeah, excellent. So we're dealing with obviously a, a flight that's probably 50 feet higher than it needs to be. That's exactly. Something so if like we that. look over at the table, you're, you're right. 153 average peak. Right. Land angle is ideal for a six iron, not a driver. Um, very steep, isn't it? Very steep, yeah. And you also, I'm, I'm losing a little bit of ball speed because I've got so much loft going there. So much dynamic loft, that's exactly right. right. Gotcha. Yep. All right. Neutral, neutral delivery. A uh, little into out, fine. Fraction open. All good in the hood. No, no issues at all. Um, right. Slightly toy with the strike, but hitting it on the equator of the club. So Perfect. we want to take 
a different setup, yeah. keep the delivery the same. I'm going to try to keep it as neutral as, as we just did That's right. and see how we can get, I guess, both launch. You're going to look for less dynamic loft, which will in turn drop the launch and spin. Exactly. At the same time. Okay. Exactly. All right. Okay. Let's grab a few, uh, few drivers and let's see what we can do. All right, Matty, we've built you a bomber. Yes. We've built you something that's going to really deal with this kind of high ballooning flight. Yep. The one that's getting you in trouble in the wind. Uh, there's enough people out there that we know that that's a big for issue sure. for. Yeah. Um, my fellow countrymen back home do not enjoy a ball flight that gets exposed in the wind. True. So, you know, this is, yeah, selfishly, this is for the it's, homeland. It's for the homeland, yeah. <laughs> so Rogue Sub-Zero, yep. we know to be one of, if not the most low spin, low launch heads kind of in your repertoire. That's right. And we've really, uh, we've really built this as a low spin monster for you. So yep. the Rogue Sub-Zero comes with the 12 and the two gram weight. Right. We've put in a 14 and a 12 gram weight, 14 okay. at the front up the head weight a little bit, yep. um, you know, really going to make this uh, an absolute yeah. spin killer for you. So if you put on the exact same swings as you were getting before, I fully expect big gains here. Right. Okay. Okay. So let's hit a couple. Certainly a very different looking uh, <laughs> club yeah. than we were just using, isn't it? Well, immediately good. a different ball flight. Half the height. Half the height. Yeah, that's okay. crazy. I think I swung more or less the same. You Good strike, me. certainly. That's got very yeah, You're just seeing an immediate change to the, the <laughs> ball's reaction when it hits its peak. I mean, Seriously. it's... Uh, it's very flat, isn't it? Yeah, it just doesn't want to, to climb. It, it wants to flatten out very, very early. Um, you know, if we look at an early comparison here, we're seeing obviously a, a huge reduction in spin That's rate. That's amazing. You know, a little, little difference in launch. I mean, look at those two. Unbelievable. Look at those two. That's, that's remarkable. Um, a couple miles an hour ball speed already just from more compression that's basically. right yeah a little little less loft is obviously going to uh, really impact the the ball speed before i hit another one two second segue if someone's playing a pro v1 or a chrome soft probably should look at switching to something like an avx if they're yeah. still having trouble if they're still having trouble yeah. uh, i mean this type of fix it's quite it. severe, yeah. yeah and and if it. you come to a place like like this that has the ability to change weights and right. has access to the, to these types of tools, you know, you should be able to get it. Because, like you and I always preach with the ball, it's it's all short game. It's yeah, also true. scoring. So true even enough. if there's even if you do feel <clears> like you're carrying a couple of hundred RPMs extra, it's it's okay because yeah, you will not benefit a, a deal from breaker, around the it? greens. Yeah. So. Uh, the, the driver should be really neutralized by right. a setup like this. I mean, this is a bomber's combo, yeah. Matty. It's nice that you put um, the two heavyweights, because mm -hmm. I think, well, as you've said to me many times, and now it makes sense, I never hit this well when we've been testing it. I know. And now that you've made it heavy, mm -hmm. like my ping is, swing weight wise, I seem the last couple of times we've tried it to actually hit some you decent balls. You do better with it. it. Yeah. And I actually found that, you know, in, in fitting with it, that now that I'm adding more headweight in there for customers, as long as I'm getting that headweight up around the 196 to 200 gram range right. uh, of the head out with the, the sleeve, yeah. I'm getting great results really? with Rogue. It's a fast driver. I was gonna the say, head I mean, technology that's... is an excellent jailbreak. We know it's good. Yeah. The higher MOI in the head is great, but it just doesn't have enough uh, headweight to create the ball speed. Yeah, so you remedying that, I guess, makes it even more of a good seller then. Right. All right. Okay, let's have a look at this. So same thing, nice high launch, low spin. <laughs> high launch, it's low spin. very straight. <laughs> it's something. Look at it roll too. Well, there's got to be somebody out there getting excited about this. <laughs> somebody it's out there is going, wow, this, this is the answer to the prayers. My ballooning ball flight has. Yeah, I has, mean, I can't, uh, I cannot. Been given me. Yeah, I can't uh, replicate those swings any better, I don't think, okay. versus what I was doing with the ping. They, they kind of delivery-wise and the numbers mm -hmm. are basically the same. Give me one where you really feel like you hit up on it. So hit like up on a it more? high. So imagine you've got like a, a forced carry. Okay. It's a big one. You've really got to launch this one up. Okay. I think we could get some significant uh, carry distance here. 
I think that's it. It's definitely got a bit more air time, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah that's, that's the one we were... So as I say, that's how you're going to hit your longest drive. That's, that's, a, that's exceptional. So looking at that one, uh, that's, it's going to flatten out just an absolute ton. Um, yeah, excellent. Looking at the comparison, obviously significantly flatter. Big pickup. You've gained 30 yards. You've dropped your flight. So, you know... All in all, that one's going to make a big, big difference. I can't imagine two ball flights being <laughs> more separated in just the way they flew and how far they went, other than changing your swing. How yeah. could you possibly make more difference than that? Yeah. Totally different. No, it's, it's, uh, it's amazing. And that's, that's, like we said, let's go over and look at the, the delivery numbers in the table here um, on the club delivery. So... Not quite as uh, as up on it, you know, especially in this a couple of them here. But the last two, we asked you to hit more up on it, and you certainly right. were able to. Right. In to out um, was very similar. The path delivered loft was obviously less. Right. But it, we're not talking about massive numbers here. This is no. we're really talking about CG location. Yeah. Here. So the the DNA of the head is what's making that big difference. Those isn't characteristics it? that were that were sort of infused into the the rogue. Uh, Sub Zero with our little influence of uh, the, the weighting. Obviously, we'll get the Aldola 2K XV Green right. 65 gram X, which we know is, is very stable, and the tip sections do nothing to Kick nothing to yeah, yeah add any dynamic loft. It's holding <coughs> the, the shaft very stable. It's really good. Um, That's awesome. Yeah. It, it's a it's a fix. It's a real real fix. I mean, you've you've tried to hit that one high, you've hit it at 93 feet, yeah. and, and you've, you've flown at 311. Well, that's the thing, like someone who hits it even, like someone who exaggerates that delivery more than I did, you probably could hit up on it more than that, obviously. Yeah. And if you got your launch up to 13, you could probably hit that another 15 yards further, couldn't you? you, if, spin if you, you to get up. everything out of it, yeah, if you were launching that at 15 with 15, with 15 you know, something like that, you know, um, you know, obviously we know that's a little bit of a, a, a kind of, one trick pony. Yeah, uh, it's not. It's not your most stable ball flight, but it's you know we're we're talking about trying to bring down the flight for that yeah. player. And it's safe to say that the person that's looking for this that has a super high ball flight is probably chasing distance as a way to lower the score. Absolutely, because they're already they're finding, finding, finding the fairways. fairways yeah, yeah. That, that's it. That's that's yeah. this player. Um, and, and there's a bunch of people watching this video right now who are going, this is me, this yeah. is this is their trouble. Because this is what we deal with in here. For sure. You know, we, we deal with that in here. You know, that customer comes in here all the time. I had a great customer in the other day. Uh, Ali uh, plays up at Granite Golf Club, watches the channel. So Ali said the same thing to me. He's like, you know, you know I feel like I my driver good. Uh, I just don't get anything out of it. So when we looked at it, he was using an old driver, I won't name, mention the brand, but he, was, he wasn't getting the ball speed he wanted. He was mm. spinning it too high. Everything was just not quite optimal. Right. Uh, we, we made some adjustments to it and he picked up some big, big gains. Big, big gains. And this, it happens all the time. Yeah, no, that's great. Really good scenario to kind of show generally what you should be looking to do. That's right. Even if you can't go to a fitting, at least these are sort of the parameters you should yeah, be looking at. Yeah, get out there and, and, and ask for these types the of demo things. Day, right? at, at demo day or you know, at your club, if there's a demo bag in, in yeah. the club and you can talk to one of the assistant pros, you know, go and ask for these, these types of things uh, in, in the, the, the driver. And then even more, even better, if, if you know, we're, if we have any sort of assistant pros watching right now and, and you know, you feel that you can add value to your membership mm. um, by having these sorts of fixes, why not, you know, why not make up a driver and configure it somewhat this way? And if you can think of a member in the club that you can, help their ball flight, make something up for them. You know, go out there, mm. make something up and, and ask them to go and test it and come back and give you the feedback. And, you know, who knows, you might end up with a sale out of it. It's a good point, yeah. You just never know. I a mean, new that's, friend, if you can give yeah, them 30 yards, you'll, you'll be someone's hero too. You, you've just, you've got to be consistently thinking about adding more value to the membership, to the viewer, and that's, that's, that's what we're trying to do. Um, quickly, if someone is not a Callaway person or maybe they don't have Callaway at their shop, yep. um, M3, M3 with the weights, great for this with the weights well. forward is a great Moving option. Moving the weights forward, yep. And the new TS3 we found to be pretty low spin as well. Very low we? spin, yeah, and yeah. good on ball speed as well. So good uh, both of those uh, would, be, would be really good options. Um, 
you know, back to our low spin videos that we didn't find the ping as low spin. No, not that's as why extreme. you, you know, and you're a real low spin player, and you've ended up in the LS Tech. Yeah. it was a nice balance for you. Perfect. So that driver for you is, I and mean, we can even see with some of those flights, it's kind of it's, it's uh, dipping, dipping isn't it? a little bit. So your driver for you, Matty, is between that one and the the, the high peaking yes, one. Exactly. That's that's where your right. uh, your kind of fit is somewhere in the middle of that. Awesome. So it's good. Guys, I uh, hope this has been helpful. Uh, I think there's a bunch of you watching that this will this will make sense and this will uh, describe your characteristics. So if that's the case, get out and try. You know the fixes now. We've given you some ideas as to how to do it. If you can't get in to see a facility like us, there's a bunch of great facilities all around uh, wherever you're located. I'm sure there's there's guys with these sorts of um, you know fixes for you. So uh, hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you again soon.